Hi, my name is Jason Mays. I'm the chair for the Beck Lean Committee, and I'm here to talk about the six-week look-ahead. So we've created a poll schedule, and we've created a weekly work plan, and we are tracking the percent plan complete, or the PPC, on that weekly work plan. Each week, you should be planning for two weeks. One week is the week that's coming up, as we showed in the weekly work plan. You go through each day, each person that's included in the schedule is taking from this schedule and they're going and detailing where they're working each day. Then you track that percent plan complete and make sure that everybody's performing at the goal that everyone agreed to. The second week that you focus on is the week that is six weeks out. The reason why is most construction jobs have problems that can be resolved within a six week period of time. We know that that's not always true, it's not a hard and fast rule, but many problems, if you know in advance six weeks before it affects the task that's going to be going on, you can resolve that. So the idea is to plan the next week and then to look at this week six weeks out. Now to do this, you use the poll schedule. I have taken a piece of tape and just put a sticky ta or a, a tack on it to place it at six weeks out. So each week, right now, we're at the beginning of November in 2012. So six weeks out would be about the middle of December. So this has two impacts that you can talk about. One is you can look at all of these weeks here but that's not the goal for this. The goal is not to look at all the weeks in between, but the goal is to look at this one week that starts right here. So we've got a week that's starting. And as we can see, we're starting to set base plates. We're going to be finishing up the first floor slab on grade four, and we'll be setting the base plates. So in this meeting, as we're in the beginning of November, in this meeting, we start talking about where is the structural steel guy. We will want him in this meeting six weeks in advance. And we start talking to him about, hey, you know that you've got your base plates coming up. You've got to set them. We start talking to field engineers saying, do we have them even on site? We start talking about the layout issues. Maybe there's any kind of layout issues. You go to the place of work six weeks in advance to start looking at this task that will be beginning. The idea is to flush out as many problems as possible so that by the time these weeks go by and they come out to set their base plates, many of those problems are resolved. Lean construction, many times people think that it is a smoke and mirrors type of way of scheduling, that when you do it, you have no problems. But that's the opposite. With lean construction, you're trying to flush out and see as many problems as possible. And this is what the six week look ahead does. Say for instance, you're gonna be framing an interior area of space. I would recommend going to that interior space and taking drawings to that interior space and working with the cold form framing stud installer or the drywaller or whoever else will be involved in that work coming up and looking at that space, doing a layout of that space to look at any details that might be missing so that you can start asking those questions. Maybe even walking it with the architect to, to determine how their intent was for certain spaces or elements that might be difficult to build. But the idea is to work hard at flushing as many problems as possible on this, on this six week look at it. Another thing to do is you can move this. So we're at the beginning of November. If we're at the end of November, this would be the second week in January. So this is a visual tool to help determine where that six weeks is. So that everybody can look over here and say, okay, what is gonna be going on at that time? What do I need to start doing? You wanna make sure that the person who's gonna be starting work in six weeks is already involved in the team meetings, whether they're subcontractor meetings or design meetings. You want to make sure that they come on board. That serves two purposes. Purposes One is to make sure they have everything they need in order to start that work. And two, 
it helps them get into the rhythm of weekly work planning, of looking ahead, six weeks ahead, of doing the stand-up meetings. This really helps them get engaged in the system and get up to speed before they come on onto the project. Now many times on a construction site, if I start asking someone what they're doing in six weeks, they'll give me all kinds of examples of I have no idea or um, that, you know, maybe, maybe I'll be off this job, all these different things. It's hard for them to think in that level of detail six weeks in advance. So one way to start that conversation I use is to say, well then why could you not start it tomorrow then? If you, can, if, if you don't have anything that's constraining you in six weeks, why couldn't you start that tomorrow? This automatically starts generating a great conversation with them where they start flushing out all kinds of problems. Maybe it's manpower, maybe it's materials not here yet and all these different items that they can start working on that we could start working on and make sure that it's done by the time that project or that task will begin. So the six week look ahead works in conjunction with the weekly work plan and that you'll work and do these at the same time. You'll first talk about your weekly work plan, then you'll talk about your six week look ahead schedule to plan that work. This also falls on the way in construction to the office staff. I would expect the office staff, your project managers, your office engineers, your assistant project managers, to really carry this weight, to meet with those subcontractors who maybe aren't on the job site and make sure they're there at that meeting before they, uh, six weeks before they start their work. That they can start meeting with the subcontractors in the field to flush out all the problems if they need to do some middles if they need to write an RFI or write a change order or any other types of acts. But this really falls on the weight of the office side instead of the field side. So this is the six week look ahead. 